So everyone, as you've seen in the YouTube title, we're going to be doing uh, the Kage interview. We're going to be talking clans, wars, alliances, and everything Kage or village related. We're going to be talking Generation X, like how to get into the... Basically, most of you guys call it Wave 2, or but we call it Generation. So we have Generation Y, which is the first, um, the first generation of the game. It's going to feature like the... The main high ranks that you're gonna know in the future so the people that are at generation right why right now are gonna be the future high ranks of the game it's basic stuff um, it's how we work with our games it's how most of our communities work so off the bat yo Adright do you want to introduce uh, who you are and what village you're a part of uh, what's up guys I'm, I'm Adright the Mizuka game so um, I leave the Miz village and Alex, do you want to introduce yourself? Okay, so I'm still Alex. Um, the right Kage means I'm leading the Kage village. Alright, so the first question is, how do people get into uh, clans within the Mist? Um, so essentially, when we get all of the Academy students, we just, uh, well, we as in my sub Kages and I, we proceed to do a fairly random selection, or at least, um, well, yeah, selection for every clan. Um, so for this generation specifically, we had three clans in total. So um, yeah, we basically just had to place our 30 students in the three clans. And yeah, it was mostly random. So the Cloud Village do the same, or did you guys have a different system? We basically did the same, just to keep fairness and our village and no complaining. Um, the Leaf did the same as well, but as you know, uh, other villages they wanted uh, Uchiha within their village and we had to switch it up along the way and we we as the war system came in you know the conquest system with alliances we had to kick out every other Uchiha from other villages so um, the one village that did not randomize was the Uchiha clan I'm actually gonna tell you guys how you get into the Uchiha clan afterwards um, but we, there was like a different rule for the Uchiha since it's the most basically the most popular clan in Naruto and of course, a lot of people are going to comment Yuchi is overrated, and I agree, but it's still freaking cool because of the red eyes, and I think everyone can agree with me on that one, but um, <laughs> anyways, um, so Adrite, for the for your first exam, so you're, say you're getting exams, right? Do you guys have plans um, about how, like, you guys have a documents, plans, and everything set for that, correct? Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, I'd say about a month ago we finalized all the documents that we needed. So in terms of exams, ranking system, um, different divisions, all of that, that's already all done. And I think that's pretty much the same for every other village as well. Alex, do you can you spoil some stuff from the Cloud Villages uh, getting exams? Well, so recently we made the decision to where if you fail, getting exams you are actually removed from the village so i mean that's something you should be looking forward to and it gives other people opportunity to be better and take your spot so it's more of a competition base i, I like what you're doing i think actually the mizukage adore he um didn't you introduce that uh i did yeah because i just thought that overall um since well considering that the first exam is really not that hard um if someone would not pass it, then I would rather have someone else who would be more dedicated because, again, it's really easy. So if you can't pass that exam, then something went wrong from your behalf, pretty much. So, yeah. So, yeah, as you heard it first, if you can't even pass the first exam within the community, how were you're automatically getting kicked from your village? The first exam is basically the easiest. For us, um, what we did was... 
uh, we tested our own HRs on the exams. I did the test, Hylor did the test, and Duke did the test. And we test how long um, it would take us to do the exam. It would take like 10 minutes of our time. Well, that's supposed to be the maximum. I did mine within th two minutes. High Lords did his within six. And Nuke did his within four. Uh, the reason High Lord took so long is because he had really long answers. And he didn't really read the instructions. So, so Adorate, do you want to talk about Generation X? Generation X? Yeah. Um... Yeah, well, overall, it's going to be starting in about, um, I'd say, a month after release, overall. So, um, yeah, it's going to be similar to the first generation, but I guess that, I don't know, more will be expected of you in-game, since, um, well, everyone's already going, well, a, a good portion of the community is already going to have been through the leveling and all of that, so, um, you're still going to go through the same system, really, but, yeah, you're just going to have to keep up. And yeah. What about the fear factor of the Akatsuki? Oh yeah, the Akatsuki. So that's going to be the main addition that comes in the next generation. Um, in terms of interactive map and all that. So yeah, that'll be definitely something to look out for. The arrival of the Akatsuki in Generation X. So Alex, this question is for you. How do you feel that the map is the the conquest map is set up for you to fight uh, the Mist Village? Would you guys rather ally or would you guys rather fight? We were positioned on this map, right? Um, I bet. <laughs> uh, the way we're positioned on this map right now, it it definitely like inspires a lot of tension within the villages. Cause uh, um, if you're not informed, right, there's a lot of monuments placed around the map where it makes people want to compete for it. So yes, I, I think for us. Right, it's a it's a lot of like choices and options we have to decide through and see what's best for Cloud and hopefully we can make it, uh, you know, in the future. Are oh. you are you trying to form alliances or are you trying to destroy each other? Be like with the when the Akatsuki is coming because right now every village is kind of shaking. They want to keep their tail beasts till the end. So you guys are all caught up. What's going to happen at the end? Correct. I might seem like a very warmongering type of man, but I do like to think about the future, so I necessarily don't want to destroy everyone around me, you know, so you uh, alliance builders. Shut up. <laughs> so, alliance building is that. Alex, exactly I, I, I think you're, you're, you and Joyful are the only Kages I didn't tell what's going to happen at the end. But at the end, is there's going to be two endings, right? There's going to be an ending if we lose and an ending if we win. Each ending leads up to like... Uh, it, it leads into a harder ending or easy ending. So it, it's like two boss battles. And then from those outcomes, it comes out to like either really stronger boss battle or a weak boss battle. So... Um, and Alex, uh, and Adorite, if you guys didn't know, the Akatsuki only need five Jins to start the war. This, the five Jin concept is going to cause a lot of betrayal between villages because, you know, each village wants to keep their own tail beast, right, for the war. But right. at the, yeah, at the end of the day, we're all going to form the Shinobi Alliance. Well, you're going to just remember that you've been backstabbed. <laughs> what if I don't want to work with someone? Um, that's up to you. The Akatsuki is hunting all of us, and it depends on what village hires the Akatsuki. That's what we're going to be looking at. So that brings even more of a fair factor, you know? Which, you know, I'm pretty sure Alex is going to hire the Akatsuki on, on my village, uh, Jins. I already, I already know, Alex. Uh, you think I don't know? But, I all right. Back, back to the interview. Back to the interview. We can't get caught off. Wait, right. rivalry yeah back to the interview so the one question that uh, like i want everyone to know what's like for from your perspective um alex what's the biggest difference between this community and the star life community well well that's a very good question um see in star life uh i personally believe that it was kind of like it was just more of a you know you just fight each other on random planets and hope you win but i feel in this game it's a lot more features and things to do like leveling uh, fighting with your squad or 
the you know clans even and of course his conquest system so I, I feel like Shelby Life 2 definitely offers a lot more things to do what about you Adorite do you want to add anything on to that um, well essentially I think the main thing uh, that's going to be keeping the whole community going for a while is going to be that map concept that we have right so that's definitely going to make things a lot more interesting and yeah we're all looking forward to that I'm pretty sure so say after the Akoski arc is uh, done do you guys want to like would you guys be like as Kages do you think you would be bored of your role as Kages and you would want to become the villains like you both can answer this question I mean as of right now it's kind of hard to tell because I haven't really experienced the full thing yet it's really, it's really mostly been like making documents managing stuff make sure that everything is done so that game part we haven't really been through yet so yeah. I don't really know maybe maybe not so what about you Alex I, I heard that you've been telling your villagers that you can't wait to become an Atsuki and wipe them all is that true <laughs> uh, see I, I'm not gonna oh, wait wait gonna... excuse me sir you have a kunai in your face I noticed oh, um, sorry, it was just... rudely uh, used on me yeah anyway let me, let me just take right, wait, wait. Alex back back to your uh, thing so I forgot what I asked honestly wait yeah hold on you oh yeah, yeah about the Suzuki yeah. um, alright so uh, I, I don't wanna I'm not gonna spoil anything yet um, I haven't even decided you know if I really wanna desert my village or not but I mean it's a lot more I feel like it's going to be very fun so uh, but I won't hint towards anything right now Adorite and Skill this this is a question both of you guys can uh, answer I think Skill do you go first then Adorite so uh, do you guys have any advice to anyone that wants to join the community um, when they're applying for Generation X like any advice you would look for in applications to join in your village I always say this when I'm reading through apps and like giving advice to people. You need to make your application stand out for me to, you know, even bat an eye. Because I'm not going to sit here and read an app with terrible grammar, right? It's a terrible reflection of your character. So you got to make sure that, you know, you are trying to let me know that you're going to be a great addition to my village. and. Yeah, and make sure you're not toxic. I know I need good chemistry along my village. Um, Adright, what about you? Um, for me, well, honestly, in terms of applications, like a bit like Alex said, um, really, I think it's more about, well, how you deliver the content that's in your application, also with the content, but also, um, you know, just how you basically bring that information to us, right? So the way you write the application, the grammar, uh, all the little things that you wouldn't really um, worry about usually, that's really important because really at the end of the day, you're trying to show us who you are, why you're worth joining the community. And you're trying to convince us that you know, you're worth it, essentially. And um, outside of applications, you can always you know, stand out by just being active in your village discords, the Shinobi Life 2 discords, well, not the Shinobi Life 2 discords, it's it's closed at the moment, but eventually when that opens up, those are all the factors that we're going to consider how active and implicated you are in the Korean community. So, yeah. All right. So, um, I think that concludes the interview. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Um, is there anything else you guys want to do or say? Um, I think I'm good. Yeah, hey. I actually think I'm good too. Um, you yeah. hit, yo, poor riser dude. He's just standing there, and you just hit him. That's crazy. Good job, yeah, Rakage. Yeah, you know what they say. Uh, the Rakage, he's the shark. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, Alex. <laughs>
Okay. Alright, we done? We done? Alright, can we officially begin? <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop, dude! Alright. Fine. <coughs> You're killing me, alright. Alright. <laughs> you, you, you give me a second, I might have to pause the video. Quit getting high here, alright, hold on. Alright. Alright, serious time. Stop, bitch! <laughs> I can't. I can't stop. Just think about something unfunny. Like I'm looking, you're looking. <laughs> Do you need me to move a seat or something? Yeah, don't, don't look at me. Turn around. Oh. Alright, uh, actually, actually, face face my character. It'd be uh, much much yeah. Every time every time one of you guys talk, just face my character. Then just remember that. Alright. <coughs> Alright. Let me just zoom out. There we go. Got the perfect shot. Perfect frame. Everything's in order. 